field stream at that time. And uh, down below, right at the bridge that we all cross coming up here, you can see a yellow coating on the surface of the stream, footprints and hoof prints in that coating. And uh, that was the uh, sulfur left over from the sulfuric acid used in the milling process. <coughs> the material that spilled was uh, about 400 million liters of fluid with a pH of 2, corrosive fluid. So I got some of those pictures uh, right then, and that was uh, before there was any uh, surface cleanup. There was a, uh, a period of time where people had uh, shovels and buckets and were cleaning up some of the visible debris, some of the discoloration and hot spots, you could tell, by surface gamma scanning, and there was about 40,000 uh, tons of soil picked up, which was on the order of a couple of percent of the volume of the spill. The spill was seen as far uh, downstream as uh, Sanders. About, uh, Where? Sanders, Arizona, about 50 miles down the stream, 80 kilometers in Arizona. And you could see trees through the break in the dam, so it was a nice visible crack, and there were congressional hearings by October to look at the causes, whether it was an accident or negligence, whether the failure to catch the things Larry was describing are uh, the causes of a major break. And then, Chris, can you kind of just briefly talk about why the, the where the tailings pond were built was bad in the first place of your geological expertise. Well, it's just uh, repeating what uh, has been found by a lot of people that looked at it. UNC acquired this section two from uh, uh, the state of New Mexico by purchasing it back in 1969 The uh, for $29,000. You can check the court records in Gallup if you want to verify that. And this, uh, so they made this a piece of private land and uh, they proposed to build the mill over here and the tailings uh, pile over there. And it was before the effective date of the state's groundwater rules and so they didn't have to put any kind of underliners uh, under the, the ponds. It was a, oops, sorry. <laughs> it was a bad site in the sense that uh, you can see uh, here the uh, pipe, what they call the pipeline arroyo. So this is what we call alluvium um, on uh, uh, the west side of the dam. The dam is that structure that goes north and south. On the other side was bedrock coming off of uh, the, the sandstone outcrops over here, and so there was a differential settlement on the, on the dam, and people like Larry and others uh, photographed cracks in the dam uh, shortly after it began operating in 77. Uh, um, they were pumping their mill effluent, uh, as Paul said, had a pH of uh, two, it's like battery acid, uh, into these uh, ponds, including the south pond. So if you sit, look at the aerials of that time, you see what looks like a nice little lake, uh, but that was uh, uh, toxic and radioactive waste. Um, under state engineer rules, you're not supposed to fill the uh, dam, or uh, the, the pond, to uh, uh, nearer than five feet from the top of the dam, and they were filling it to two feet. So uh, they, they, uh, there were several uh, companies and consultants that looked at the problem and decided that the, a combination of forces caused the dam to break. Uh, uh, it was uh, uh, significant operate, operating error uh, because uh, they were filling it too full, uh, they were not paying attention to the cracks even though they photographed them, and a catastrophic accident happened as a result. Uh, this uh, facility, this uh, waste disposal, would not have been approved, uh, at least theoretically, if uh, the state had waited about three to four weeks to have uh, to approve the license, because then they would have had to comply with the groundwater regulations of the state, uh, and the groundwater regulations may have 
uh, led the state to conclude that it was an, a site that was not uh, suitable for the long-term uh, storage and management of uh, uranium mill tailings. It's about three and a half million tons of tailings. It's one of the um, what they call active tailing sites. It's also a Superfund site designated by EPA back in uh, 88 and 89, or excuse me, 83. Uh, and for uh, much of the offsite groundwater contamination to the south, uh, to the north, and to the east. Uh, so uh, it remains the largest spill of radioactive waste by volume in U.S. history. Um, and uh, as uh, you probably heard, it's going to be the final resting place for another million cubic yards, at least, of uh, mine waste that are on the other side of the mesa at the Northeast Church Rock Mine.